When teaching in an area such as Marquette, Michigan, there is no reason not to take your class on a field trip. Field trips offer an opportunity for students to get exposure to real people and events. Field trips allow students to connect their learnings to real life situations. A field trip is a structured activity that occurs outside the classroom. It can be a brief observational activity or a longer, more sustained investigation or project. Presque Isle Park would be a great place to take a class on a field trip. You could conduct science investigations and observe wildlife in its natural habitat. Children of all ages would enjoy a field trip to the park and they would be able to learn a lot as they experience things firsthand at Presque Isle Park. Marquette's Lakeshore also makes for a convenient field trip location. Or, if you have students in your class interested in art, it might be a good idea to take them to the DeVos Art Museum located on NMU's campus. A field trip to the art museum could inspire some of your students, and it will also teach your students how to be respectful in a museum setting. You should frequently check to see what exhibits the museum has, as some might pertain to the information that your class is learning at that given time. Located just down the way from the art museum is the Forest Roberts Theater, where you could easily take your language arts class to go see a live play performed by NMU students. A wonderful destination for a social studies field trip would be the Marquette Maritime Museum. Here your students could tour the lighthouse and learn all about Lake Superior. Another wonderful destination for a social studies field trip would be the Marquette Regional History Center. Here your students can learn all about Marquette and how it came to be the beautiful place it is today. A wonderful location for a field trip would be the Upper Peninsula Children's Museum. You could bring your class here for nearly any subject. The museum is constantly changing their exhibits and they focus on hands-on learning for children of all ages. Children will have a blast exploring the museum and their many different exhibits. They will learn about many things that would be difficult to teach in a classroom environment. The students will be learning with a hands-on approach, so they will be more likely to remember the information that they learned while they were on their field trip at the museum. However, not all field trips have to be done outside of the classroom. Thanks to the advancements in technology in the classrooms, we can easily go on virtual field trips. I'll show you a quick example. Say you want to take the kids to Alcatraz Island. Being in San Francisco, it would be a lot easier to just do this virtually. So, I went to Google Maps, typed in Alcatraz, San Francisco, California, and here is the island. Now the students can see where it is in relationship to the rest of California. And Google Maps allows you to zoom into the destination and kind of explore it. You can even drop that little guy down there. And this allows you to be on the island viewing nearby attractions. So you could do this literally anywhere in the world and I think the students will have a blast with this. Obviously they'll be able to learn a lot and you can do all of this without even leaving your classroom.